guys, I'm Layla and welcome to Raid Lore Stories. Today we are going to be checking out Call of the Arbiter Discover the Lore. This is going to be for episode 7. It's going to go along with the story for Prince Newt and the Dwarves. Let's check this out together. Welcome to the world of Teleria, an ancient land with its own peoples and races and millennia of history. In this series, we're going to dive into the unique world and lore that exists within the Raid universe. This episode centers on the Dwarf Newt who forms an unlikely alliance with Kale and Elhain to battle a terrifying foe. Newt is a prince of Gloomdeep Hold and the eldest son of the Mountain King. We meet him on the eve of a grand expedition before he inadvertently aids our heroes in their quest to resurrect the Arbiter. But what are the dwarves and their civilization? How do they fit in among the diverse races of Teleria? It is time to explore the history of these underground denizens. Unlike the races we have covered until now, the dwarves were born out of the seventh dance of creation, the Dance of Darkness. Despite this, the dwarves aren't inherently evil. Many aided Lumaya and her children, taking arms against Siroth's legions during the Great Divorce. They were left battered and broken by the conflict, however, and bitterly cursed the gods, tunneling deep underground and vowing never to involve themselves in the matters of the surface world. For centuries, the dwarven under empire thrived in isolation. However, Siroth eventually turned his gaze towards them, seeing an opportunity to wipe out a potential enemy. He unleashed his demon spawn hordes within the deepest dwarven tunnels, and they tore through the Under Empire. Only two dwarven holdouts survived Siroth's invasion, Gloom Deep Hold under the Mountains of Despair in Anhelt, and the Sky Iron Dominion under the Cloud Spire Mountains in Peltas. These two dwarven territories eventually reconnected, sending regular treasure fleets out of underground tunnels and across the sea to trade. Over time, the dwarves slowly opened up to the outside world. The dwarves of the Sky Iron Dominion became firm allies with the Shadowkin of Yakai and the Sylvan Watchers of the Mistwood. Gloomdeep Hold welcomed visitors of Port Wretched, a neutral port where people of all races could trade under the watchful eyes of dwarven guards and shore batteries. Progress has been slow, but it takes time to unpick centuries of isolation. Just as Newt and his band of explorers look for treasure, keep your eyes peeled for clues hidden within this week's episode. The code you seek may be set in stone. Newt's expedition into the outside world mirrors the dwarves' own cautious return to the surface and the races they left behind. For more on the dwarves, seek out the bios of Newt, Mountain King, Samar Gemkirst, Underpriest Brogni, and Trunda Giltmal in the Champion Index in-game, or follow the links in the description for more resources. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Raid Call of the- Wow, what did you guys think of that? That was pretty thorough for the dwarves, huh? And those of you guys watching YouTube, I actually am recording this live on Twitch, and someone made a comment how the dwarves are proof that your birth doesn't matter, that you can come from dark roots but still be good. I guess that's what they were saying, right? Is that even where the dwarves originated from, they're not inherently evil, and they still make a choice, and they have made a choice. And I like how it's they start tying it in with the, the Shadowkin and the Sylvan Watchers as well too right because we know that they actually have an alliance together too with one more faction that has not been disclosed yet guys i hope you enjoyed this discover the lore for the dwarves drop me a comment down below on what you think and thanks so much for watching